In spring, astronomers from Africa and China discovered a brand new comet that has what it takes to become the first great comet since Hale-Bopp. From the Oort cloud, this lump of snow and ice flies slowly in the direction of the sun. In September 2024, we will see it in the night sky, and possibly this comet will even shine so brightly that it will be visible during the day. Find out what this unusual visitor from the far edge of the solar system really means and what we should all expect in this video. The brightest comet ever? The newly discovered comet is hurtling straight towards Earth and could shine brighter than the brightest stars. If it passes by us on its journey to the Sun, it will likely become the brightest object in the night sky. It's possible that this comet will shine so brightly that it will even be visible during the day in sunlight. This unusual celestial object was first discovered in 2023 when it was about 7.3 astronomical units away from our Earth. One astronomical unit is equal to the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. At the time of its discovery, the comet was considered to be even 7.3 times farther away than the Sun is from Earth. The comet was discovered on the night of February 22, 2023 by a robotic asteroid and comet early warning system based in South Africa. The system, called ATLAS, is specifically designed to detect near-Earth asteroids well in advance and warn us. If the system detects a chunk of rock or ice in the vicinity of Earth, it calculates its path at lightning speed. If this reveals that a comet or asteroid is about to come very close to Earth, or even that there is a risk of collision, an alarm is triggered immediately. However, ATLAS not only triggers alarms, but basically registers all discoveries of comets and asteroids, even if they are still far away, and it's already clear when they're discovered that they will miss Earth. The new comet, however, was not the only one to catch the eye of the ATLAS system. The Purple Mountain Observatory in China had also spotted the comet. The reports of the discovery overlapped. In China, the comet was first registered on January 9, 2023. To do justice to both discoverers, the comet was named Su Chin Shan Atlas. The scientifically correct name is even more complicated as Comet C 2023 A3 Su Chin Shan Atlas. The naming system for comets and asteroids follows a strictly defined worldwide pattern. It begins with a prefix indicating the object. In this case, C means a non periodic comet that takes more than 200 years to orbit the Sun and may have an irregular orbit. The prefix is followed by the year of discovery, which in this case is 2023. The letter-number combination represents the discovery time. Each month is divided alphabetically into two halves. A represents the first half of January, B the second, C the first half of February, and so on. The accompanying number indicates the order of discovery in that period. Finally, the name of the observatory or telescope that discovered the object may be added. Therefore, C 2023 A3 Sushinchan Atlas means that it's a non periodic comet, which is the third object discovered jointly by Sachin Shin and Atlas in the first half of January 2023. Initially, the object was thought to be an asteroid, but later observations from Palomar Observatory in California showed a dense composition and a short tail, suggesting that this object is indeed a comet. Based on its orbit, this comet is believed to have an orbital period of about 80,000 years. What will the comet teach us? In March 2023, the comet was between the orbits of Jupiter and Saturn. Since then, it has been moving toward us at 290,644 kilometers per hour, or about 80.74 kilometers per second. When it was discovered, the comet was about 1.1 billion kilometers from Earth. It will be more than a year before it reaches the Sun and then arcs around it and flies back into the outer reaches of the solar system. It will reach perihelion when the comet reaches its closest position to the Sun on September 27, 2024, when it will be at about the same altitude as Mercury and only 58 million kilometers from the Sun. Due to the Sun's gravitational forces, the comet will be redirected and then move away again. After this phase, Comet A3 will pass relatively close to our planet, reaching its closest point to Earth on October 13, 2024. The comet's proximity to the Sun can briefly increase its luminosity by 17 orders of magnitude. 
This effect occurs when the comet's materials absorb, radiate, or interact with sunlight. The burning question is, of course, whether or not the comet will collide with Earth. But here we can give the all clear, because current orbital calculations have shown that the comet will remain at a safe distance. Nevertheless, the visitor may become an unforgettable spectacle, because its increase in brightness could make it the next great comet and offer us a sight that certainly does not happen every day. Experience the Celestial Spectacle Live Currently, scientists are speculating whether this comet will fall into the Great Comet category. Large comets are among the brightest of their kind and could be observed on Earth with the naked eye. In the past, some of these large comets have been so bright and so close to Earth that they are easily visible even in daylight and twilight. We won't get the final answer until fall 2024. Too many unknowns still surround this visitor from the edge of the solar system. The closer the comet gets, the more we will know. Many people who still remember Comet C-2022 E3 ZTF are wondering when the next brightly shining celestial object will captivate us with its radiance. The comet, nicknamed the Green Comet, was visible in the night sky from late 2022 to early 2023. Suchin Chan Atlas could be even brighter. Some of the most optimistic predictions even suggest that it could be the brightest comet in a long time. There are even rumors that this comet may finally be a really big comet for the first time since 1997. Really big, meaning luminous and radiant, like Hellbop, which delighted us with its luminous spectacle over a period of nearly 18 months in 1997. A3, Suchinchan Atlas's path across the celestial firmament. Currently, Suchinchan Atlas is still so faint that it can only be seen through large telescopes and that's not likely to change much in the coming months. So, unless you have access to a high-power telescope again, you'll have to be patient until the comet becomes more visible to you. Starting on October 29th, it will appear in the constellation Sextans, then move on to Virgo, the Serpent's Head, and the Serpent Bearer. If the comet behaves as expected, it should become visible to small telescopes in early summer 2024. In late September of this year, 2023, it could even be visible for a short time with the naked eye or through binoculars just before sunrise low in the east. Whether it will already show the typical tale of comets at that time is still uncertain. Predictions about comet behavior are difficult. It is clear among experts that it's almost impossible to say for sure what will happen. All we can do is wait permanently for the approach of this celestial visitor and be ready for a surprise. In most cultures of this world, the appearance of a comet in the firmament is considered a good omen. The birth of saints, kings, and particularly successful conquerors are said to have been accompanied by the appearance of a comet more often throughout history. A Visitor from the Oort Cloud Sashin Shin comes from the Oort Cloud, a spherical collection of rocks, asteroids, and comets. The Oort Cloud is actually already beyond the boundaries of the outer solar system and outside the sphere of influence of the heliosphere, but it's still part of our solar system. Occasionally, gravitational disturbances caused by passing stars or the rotational behavior of the Milky Way can tear these icy bodies out of their stable position in the Oort Cloud and hurl them toward the center of the solar system. Some comets then return to the outer region of the solar system, while others follow orbits in the inner region for long years or even millennia. In the process, they repeatedly approach the Sun, are repelled by it again, continue to fly, and sometimes are captured and recaptured by other celestial bodies such as planets or the asteroid ring. The eccentricity of the comet initially indicated that it was moving in a parabolic orbit, suggesting that it had never been on a journey toward the Sun before. If we expect a brightly shining comet, this is not good news. Indeed, that would mean that its surface is likely coated with highly volatile materials such as frozen nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. When this ice evaporates far from the Sun, a distant comet may experience a brief spike in brightness, which then raises expectations of a very bright and large comet. But after the initial evaporation, the brightness then decreases significantly. If current calculations are correct, however, the comet is moving in an elliptical orbit which means it is likely a visitor to our solar system that has already lost these outer layers through previous flights through the system. 
Are all highly volatile materials on its surface already shed? Hellbop also moves in an elliptical orbit with a period of about 4,200 years, and this comet also regularly roams the solar system. Another comet that came to us from Oort's cloud was Aaron in the spring of 1957. Although it was a first-time visitor and carried many materials on its surface that could have prevented it from increasing in brightness, it made for a stunning sight, reaching the brightness of a proper great comet. A luminous 30-degree tail pointed toward the Sun along a 15-degree tail. In 2007, Comic McNaught also came out of the Oort cloud and put on a spectacular show in January 2007. This comet produced such a magnificently large tail that it was briefly visible next to the Sun during the day. So, we can look forward to the comet Sushinchan Atlas, hopefully putting on a similar show for us next year. Will you observe the flyby of the comet? And do you think comets can be lucky messengers? <laughs>